They are called sadhus. Bhagwan says, I protect them. They are fearless. They don't need anything. But if I protect them, then only dharma will be protected. And vinasha ayacha duskritam, already I told you, vinasha is, one is the change of heart. And the person changes the ways of living. Physical elimination is only at the end. Uh, the final, you know, if the person refuses to change. And dharma samsthapana arthaya sambhavami yuge yuge. This topic is very serious and very deep. Somebody asked, you know, in an easy language, in a very simple language, can you tell what is dharma? Huh? He said, dharma simple is whatever we want to see in other man. The other person should be loving, respecting, and very understanding, and forgiving, and all that. All this we expect, whatever we may be, but we want the other person. That is called dharma. <laughs> but somebody said, what about you? You leave me, but you should be like this. After all, only these values will win. Dharma samsthapana arthaya sambhavami yuge yuge. These are thoughts everybody must think over more and more and see the entire history of mankind. You will find whenever people lived other way, other, there only there was all kinds of confusion. At least at our family level, we can try, isn't it? Yeah. At our organization level, we can try. And if people start understanding this, and actually there is no substitute for this. Although we keep on fighting. We have to follow that ultimately. Now Bhagwan, having said this, he mentions about his janma and about his karma, what is the speciality of his janma karma? Let us read the ninth shloka. Janma karma cha me divyam evam yo veti tattvataha tyaktva deham punar janma Janma, karma, cha, me. Me means my. Bhagavan says, my birth, janma, and my karma, divyam, divine. Divine is my janma, divine is my karma. Evam yo veti tattvataha. Any person who knows this, understands this, tattvataha, in essence, then tyaktva deham, then leaving this body, leaving his body, punar janma na eti, that person is not born again. Then what happens to him? <laughs> Mam eti saha. Hey Arjuna, Arjuna, that person is not born again, he merges with me, he becomes one with me. Now, what is the divyata of Bhagwan's janma? It was earlier pointed out, Bhagwan says, Ajopi san avyayatma. Bhagwan's in his essential nature, as Shuddha Chaitanya, pure consciousness, is totally free from birth, growth, death. Ajanma, but Atma Mayaya, but he takes that birth, keeping Maya under control, that means what? 
even though appears to have taken janma but still it is ajanma only free from that because essentially he is ajanma only whatever janma is taken that it is with maya only appearance that's called divyata and karma then whatever karma bhagwan does like protection of sadhus destruction of the evil doers establishment of dharma and all the karma that bhagwan does in that also there is divyata and what is that divyata which he will be telling later on but the divyata is that even though he appears to be a doer of so many karmas but still he is a non doer akarta abhokta is neither the doer of karma nor the enjoyer of the karma phalas that also he will tell again later on we will see so even though taking janma and still is ajanma only that his nature never gets affected in the same way performing the karmas and still remaining unaffected by all the karma karma phala that is divyata now that is all right but the next point which is said here evam yo vetti tatvatah now any person who understands this truth then even that person gets liberated how <laughs> you know that means actually each one of us essentially is this ajanma avinashi atma 